As the professor of life magic, it falls to me to tell you about a wonderful new activity available to students. I speak of gardening. Students at Ravenwood can plant and grow amazing plants in their dormitory rooms or castles. Wizards of all schools can garden, so my hope is that every student will learn the joy of shepherding new life. There is so much to learn about gardening, and I know just the person to teach you. Seek out Farley in Gollum Court. He will explain the basics of gardening to you. Greetings, my little wizard friend. You look like you're in need of some learning, and I'm happy to oblige. And if it's not too much trouble, I'll ask you for a small favor once I've finished yapping. So, where to start? Well, let me tell you about how gardening works. It all begins with the tiniest of things, a seed. That's it, a seed. Do you have a seed with you? Surely you must. What's that? You don't? Oh, dear. And we're off to a poor start. Tell you what, will you run over to speak to Blossom, the life tree in the midst of Ravenwood? Ask her for a seed. Any type will do. She should set you up with something to get you started. Be off then, will ya? To you, young wizard, what can I do for you? A seed? Farley sent you? A most unusual request, but I should be able to help you. A plant's journey of life begins with it as a seed. There are many types of seeds, each with a different destiny. With enough energy, you can prepare soil of your choice in your castle, if you have one. Or a plant. Then you can plate with enough energy. You can prepare soil of your choice in your castle if you have one, or a planter in your door. Then you can place the seed into the readied soil. After a time, it will begin to grow. You can shepherd its growth through spells and other means of caring for it, creating an environment for it to thrive. I will give you a seed. Take it back to Farley. He will tell you more. You've got that seed? Fantastic! I recommend you roll up your sleeves and learn something about gardening. Let's see what kind of seed Blossom saw fit to give you. Oh, what's this? A dandelion? That'll do nicely. After you've planted your dandelion seed, it starts to grow. From seed to seedling, young plant, mature plant, to elder. You can use a number of helpful spells to usher it along as it grows, keeping it healthy and happy. Take a look at the row of four dandelions to the side of me, and examine each of them. When you're done, come back and I'll bend your ear some more, if you've got the patience for it. This is a seedling, the youngest phase of life for a plant. 
you will need energy to plant a seed in a planter or the ground. After a seed is planted, you can use plant growth spells on it to help it flourish. Plants require some things to thrive and survive. Water, sunshine, pollination, magic, and even music. Plants that are cared for with spells to satisfy their needs will advance through the stages of life. Next, you should examine the young plant. This is a young plant in its next stage of life after seedling. You can observe your plant's growth visually and by using some simple spells. The plow spell allows you to remove a plant or dirt pile if you wish to do so. The revive spell allows you to transform a wilting plant into a young plant, ready to grow once more. Now you should examine the mature plant. This is a mature plant in the fullness of its growth. When a plant becomes mature, it can be harvested. You can harvest a plant by interacting with it. Each type of plant yields a different harvest. Reagents, pet snacks, gold, treasure cards, or more seeds. You can harvest from a plant as long as it's in its mature stage of life. It's now time to take a look at the elder plant. This is an elder plant, the final stage of a plant's life cycle. Many plants won't reach this stage. An elder plant can be harvested one final time with much greater possible rewards. Once an elder plant is harvested, it disappears and cannot be revived. You should return to speak to Farley. So, there you have it. Think you know it all now? Don't get carried away. I've still much to teach. I'm sad to say that gardening isn't all nurturing and happiness. Plants can be endangered by some very real threats. Take a look at the two unhealthy looking specimens to the other side of me. Come back when you've seen for yourself what can happen. This plant is wilting. It will die before too long if it's not taken care of. Plants can die if their needs are not met, or if they are killed by pests. Plants have likes and dislikes, things that encourage or discourage their growth. A plant's likes are things it enjoys being near. These can include other types of plants or gardening items. A plant will flourish if it is near things that it likes, while things it dislikes will cause it to become unhealthy. An important part of gardening is learning how to arrange your plants and create a healthy garden for them. You should examine the dead plant now. This plant is dead. Now all that can be done is to plow it over or revive it as a seedling. The greatest threat to plants are pests. Pests can infest a plant and hinder its growth. If pests are not eliminated, eventually the plant will begin to wilt and die. When a plant is infested by pests, it cannot be harvested and growth spells will have no effect. To eliminate pests, you must use pest fighting spells. To eliminate a pest, the spell must be of high enough rank. You can purchase pest fighting spells from vendors throughout the spiral or even win them as treasures. Farley can tell you more about how to get started gardening. It's a sorry state to see plants doing so poorly, but it's important to know what risks there are when gardening. I think by now you've learned the basics of planting and gardening. If you've been paying attention, the seed blossom gave you should be enough to get you started. I encourage you to try it out. You've already got the basic spells to care for your plant, and I can sell you additional spells and items for your garden. As you continue to garden, you'll reap the rewards in the form of harvests, badges, and even experience. I look forward to seeing you again with your newfound green thumb displayed oh so proudly. Best of luck to you.